Al-Junaid al-Baghdadi, when he was young, I'll take you to Imam al-Junaid. I just, be, uh, I'll, I'll talk, we'll talk, inshallah, I have a flight to catch. Al-Junaid al-Baghdadi, rahmatullahi alayhi, وهذا الإمام الجنيد إمام الطائفة إمام أهل السنة He was young at that time when he went to Mecca He said one time I went to Mecca and the people are writing that the ulama are writing that He went to Mecca and he was young still in his 18s, 19s and they brought him among the shiyukh big people they said he is, yeah, he is really young but this man Something is about him. He speaks, and when he speaks, that eloquency, that impact, that nur comes out of his mouth. The big mashayikh, the big ulama are sitting, and they are talking, they invoke the topic of mahabba, of love. Sitting with those big ulama, they are talking about the subject of mahabba, these big awliya. But they enter the lit, al junaid 20-year-old, 18, 19-year-old, 20-year-old, sit with them. Let's see what he has. This Iraqi from Iraq, Imam Al Junaid from Iraq, from Baghdad, Al Junaid Al Baghdadi. They're talking. Everyone, every one of these big ulama is talking about the mahabba. What does love mean? Everyone spoke in that majlis of big ulama. They left Al Junaid. They said this. They say that he's, he has knowledge. They told him, Ha, ma inda ya Iraqi. What do you have, oh Iraqi, what do you have with you? We're talking about this topic. What do you think? Give us your thoughts. You're the last one to speak. Al-Junaid, rahmatullahi alayh, the narration says, he put his head down. They're talking about mahabba, love. He put his head down, and his eyes started watering, pouring. And he said this. He said, Al Muhibbu Dahibun An Nafsih. Al Muhib, the one who is in love, has abandoned himself, is detached from him or herself. Detached from him or herself. Dahibun An Nafsih. Muttasilun bi dhikri rabbih. Detached from himself or herself. Attached. To the, to the dhikr and to the mention of his Lord. Detached, attached. Muttasilun bi dhikri rabbih. Nadirun ilayhi bi qalbih. He's observing Allah with his heart continuously. Qad ahraqa nuru rabbihi qalbah. The nur of his Lord has burnt and purified his heart. فَإِذَا تَكَلَّمَ فَبِاللَّهِ When he speaks is by ilham of Allah. He doesn't speak. But when he speaks, فَبِاللَّهِ Allah allows him to speak. فَإِذَا تَكَلَّمْ If he speaks, فَبِاللَّهِ وَإِذَا تَحَرَّكْ فَلِلَّهِ If he moves, he moves for Allah. If he speaks, he speaks by Allah. And if he moves, he moves for Allah. وَإِذَا سَكَتَ فَمَعَ اللَّهِ And if he is silent, then he is totally with Allah. <laughs> Imam Jinn that looks at them, he says, فَهُوَ بِاللَّهِ He is by Allah. For Allah, with Allah. فَهُوَ بِاللَّهِ مَعْ لِلَّهِ مَعَ اللَّهِ This is the muhib. When he speaks, it is the, the wali, the ilham of the awliya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to speak, runs the truth on their mouth. When they speak, they speak the truth. And if they move, they go from one place to another place, they move for Allah. And if they are silent, then they are entirely with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, they are by Allah for Allah, with Allah. Do we understand now? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sibghat Allahi wa man ahsanu min Allahi sibgha. Sibgha could mean die. But, you know, the dying, as if someone was to pinch you. 
with a paint but this is the paint of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhat Allah Allah mentions the Quran as if someone poured on you the the paint from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that change you but not only externally like the paint we have that paint from Allah changes you changes every atom every single cell in your body and outside of your body so you become subhat Allah woman ahsanu min Allah subha who has a better subha than the subha of Allah rabbul alameen Hadal Junaid, who is mocked sometimes nowadays for Allah, let's not go there. Let's not go there. 